फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो प्लस फाइव सेकेंड Lift off normal P1 Here tracking. Here we have a majestic lift off of LBM 3M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. P2 tracking. In August Pedro last year, off. India watched as the rocket carrying the Chandrayaan moon lander lifted off from Sri Hari Kota, traversing over 3.8 million kilometers to reach the lunar surface 40 days later. On Wednesday. India and Russia marked 40 years of collaboration in space remembering the exploits of wing commander Rakesh Sharma who made history in April 1984 by flying into space on board the Russian Soyuz T11 spacecraft he was the first indian to do so at an event in the russian embassy in delhi diplomats space scientists and others mingled to toast further success in space and listen into sharma who joined virtually from his home in bengaluru and of course i have been often asked whether the current uh, crop of four have received the same kind of training as i did and i think the answer to that is yes primarily because uh, apart from the technology which really hasn't changed much except for improvements in the displays and uh, you know uh, Uh, yeah, utilizing more uh, uh, components which are much more reliable uh, the human being hasn't changed therefore uh, the way we condition the human body to face the rigors of space travel that hasn't changed he touched on the four astronauts under training for india's first manned space flight with an eye on the future sharma targeted his appeal at the younger generation of indian i hope the young generation which is out there gets inspired to take up space related sciences so that they can contribute in future to the indian space program and through the indian space program the cooperation which has to happen as humanity progresses uh, and uh, further exploration of deep space happens jai hind russia's deputy chief of mission Roman Babushkin told Strat News Global that the two countries needed to reignite the spirit of that Soyuz mission and earlier collaborations. Our engagements go back to 1975 when the Soviet Union assisted to launch Aryan Khata, the Indian's first satellite. The second satellite, Bhaskara, was launched by the Soviet Union in 1979. Now India having developed its own national space program by right enjoys the status of a space superpower Babushkin had another point to make the danger of space getting weaponized ultimately adopt the universal resolution and uh, universal treaty on non placement of weapons in outer space this is our priority we are on the same page with India and uh, uh, we hope that other countries would also Uh, ultimately join that his comments underscored the strategic jockeying underway in space india is also aware that the benign environment of 40 years ago is gone and an ugly new competition is rearing its head so collaboration and competition will be the watchwords this is ashwin ahmed from strat news global don't forget to watch like and subscribe Thank you.